Wow, that was beautiful from Chris and Terry. Hope you all enjoy it. Well, we do have some amazing guests to join us on the Jerry Quest show this season. You do share your story with us and also with our wonderful, beautiful audience in the studio. We want to say a big thank you to every one of them who appeared on the show. We do it during the time of the Jerry Quiz. Let's take a look at some of the great moments we do have with them by playing that. We'll be right back after this. Enjoy it. My grandfather came from Ackle Sound. Wow. Sailed out of Cork to Canada. Yes. Married my grandmother, who was French. Yeah. I think because he bought her a pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I personally can't remember a time when I was not interested in the brain. My mother says that when I was five years old, she walked into my father's office and had this great big atlas of hmm. the human body in front of me. And I was looking at the brain. And I said, Mom, look at this. This is what it looks like inside my head. True. And the next day I went back to look at it again, and I couldn't find it. Whoa. And I said to my mother, where is the book with, with the brain? And I think she came close to lying. <laughs> she said, you know, I'm not exactly sure where that is. Yeah. <laughs> I found out later she gave it to my father and said, don't tell me where you put it. Because there was a picture of some naked people in there as well as the brain. She's wearing the Capri collection. We're talking about gold necklaces, diamonds. And a very particular thing, the blue that you see in the flowers, they are real gold. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And there is the air cuff also in 18 carats gold. And one piece that has been in our galleries and our galleries is just one simple ring. Wow. Okay. Just wow. a simple ring mm -hmm. called in uh, Thornstorm Gwyns. Why? Because for me, the butterflies mean the, the freedom, the dream. This is Fraggles. Yeah. Uh, Fraggles I have since he was um, about six weeks old. He was okay. thrown out of a car wow. when he was very young and uh, hid in a bush for ages. And he was quite nervous that they couldn't catch him. So our inspectors went out and were able to catch him, which was fantastic. Wow. He came in, I fell in love, and here he is now seven years down the line. Fantastic. And then MJ is a road traffic accident, so he only has three legs. Wow. But it doesn't stop him. He jumped up on the sofa, no Aww. problem. Good. I saw him the way he just came in and straight away. Yeah, straight sofa. away. He's at home. He likes <laughs> <laughs> he loves wow, that's good. So, yeah. so tell us about some of the specialized things about the 1916 walking tour that you have organized in light of the 100 years anniversary. Well, it's, it, I think it's terribly important to take the myth out of it, mm -hmm. to tell the story as it really was, not to leave out the tragedy. Of course, it's glorious to a certain extent when you look back on it, uh, but it affected ordinary people terribly. Uh, the rebels themselves, of course, were treated quite badly afterwards. Um, they, they arrested three or four thousand people, half of those were never even involved in the revolution. Mm. Uh, a lot of British suffered terribly during the revolution as well. I mean, the wow. greatest number of uh, casualties, of course, were civilians, but the second greatest number of casualties were members of the British Army. Wow. Which wow. we don't realize the rebels. Uh, mm. suffered the least amount of casualties <laughs> but they were it was a whole new type of warfare it was urban warfare wow and the wow. british weren't prepared for that what ch challenges would you face as a young kid at, at this stage yeah i suppose um you know i I'm, i've some great opportunities i get to work with some really great people and i get to work with some really big businesses so when i walk into a meeting a lot of people I meet with usually don't interact with 17-year-olds in a business sense. <laughs> it's, uh, the, first, the only time they really deal with 17-year-olds is if they're giving out to their kids. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I suppose that's a big tra challenge to try not to get them to see me as one of their kids, rather <laughs> more as a, uh, an equal if, in any sense at all. But I'm so underdressed compared to this beautiful <laughs> man here. Look, and I'm wearing navy and black. Well, And it doesn't go. And this man looks like Conor McGregor. <laughs> it's OK, you're handsome. Yeah, yeah. you're good. Okay. Well, I am. Oh, show some love, please, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Thank I am you. better looking. I just didn't want to say it. <laughs> It's good, I like this. Now, Jimmy, so welcome to, to the show. So tell Pleasure us about yourself. T well, there's lots to know. Yes. Really, where will I start? Um, anywhere at all. Um, well, I'm 24. Yeah. 24. No, I'm 25, actually. 25? Oh, yeah. You never forget okay. your own age. Oh, yeah. It's weird, isn't it? It's the weird thing. Like, yeah. I like when it. When it gets over 21, you're kind of like, no, I don't No. <laughs> yeah, 
I was trying to get a job as a <laughs> uh, schlock soap writer. Yes. And they were like, no, you're rubbish. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're rubbish, Anna. So I got a job as a claims adjuster in an insurance company. And I walked in the door, right? I, this is how naive I was, right? No, I was 26. And I walked in the door and I went in as a temp, you know, for three weeks. Yeah. And they said to me, Anna, like, would you like to stay? And I went, no, I'm going to be a writer. <laughs> <laughs> Trill! How do we pronounce your last name? Let's get to it first It's of a all. trick. It's a paycheck. Paycheck, yeah. Like a paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Robbins actually says, uh, I was attending Pendulum Summit in January last year, and he said that there's a difference between just earning money and being successful and achieving, achieving, achieving. But if you're doing something meaningful, if you're doing something for other people and actually you get the buzz out of it, if you're doing something that really gets you, that's fulfillment. Claudia, um, you were a former uh, Fair City Heart Rest. Oh, I'm still in it. Yeah, you're still, still in it. Yeah, yeah, in. Yeah. I, I'm like a, the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> I kind of zoom in on a broomstick every now and then. And I've got a son in the show at the yeah. moment, all fiction. Okay. And he is... Um, how do I say this diplomatically, given that I'm sitting beside an ambassador? <laughs> he is one of those teenagers who grew up, I think, seldom, if ever, hearing the word no. Mm -hmm. Ambassador, thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, thank Since you. you've been in Ireland, how are things? How are you enjoying the weather here? Uh, Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well, the weather is uh, quite uh, a bit of a problem. I don't know. There is <laughs> diplomacy. <laughs> Can you talk us through some of the people in production you've worked with as well? Can you talk us through them? <laughs> How long have you got? Yeah. <laughs> I've been very lucky. I've, I really have worked with everyone from Brad Pitt to David Bowie to mm -hmm. Kate Blanchett, Kate Winslet. Let's take a look at some of your great work here. One of them is what you just ma mentioned there, that was David Bowie. This is one of his um, artwork you've done. Is that yes. Good? Yeah. Um, Can you talk us through this lovely piece? I again? brought in the two of these because it was one of the really sad things that happened this year. Yeah. That both these men died mm. within a very, very short, 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 short space. period of time. Yeah. Yeah, a very short time, and that was David Bowie on the Prestige, and he was so nervous when I met him because he was playing Tesla who is the great Croatian scientist. And when I produced the sketch, yeah. and he heard my Irish accent, he um, <laughs> felt a lot better. And he was terrific in it. Wow. Yeah, very, very good. Well, this is Alan one Rickman, one yes. of my great friends, and um, at the Abbey Theatre down the road, yeah. and John Gabriel Borkman. Um, and we went to Broadway with it, and it mm. was a great show. Wow. And he was a great, great actor. What's like, you know, when you and your family sing it all together and doing this? What's it's a wonderful, uh, it's wonderful. It yeah. really is, Chris. I mean, you know, to be singing with your three brothers and your sister is, uh, there's a lovely, strong connection. Very and true. Our, vo our, our voices blend very, very well together because we're family, mm. you know, and we all know each other's voices. Mm. So I decided that I would set up a charitable organisation solely to support the family members. So we have a 10 week family program and a one to one counselling service where family members who can come to us, they, it's not for the person who has the problem with the alcohol or the drugs or the gambling. For it's the only family. it's only for the family. Before we let the two guys go on the show today, we have what we call the Jeep quiz. Are we ready audience in the studio? <laughs> Which daughter of the famous Irish leader wrote the book? P.S.I. I love you. Did you read it? Yeah. <laughs> Did I read it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see clearly around the line. So no, um, I know nothing. He no. didn't. He didn't even finish school. <laughs> no. They're in trouble. I'm still going back. He's still going back. <laughs> yeah. Oh good. Oh good. So let's like try this. That's him. Stephen in his next role. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to start eating her cake. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote Shinette O'Connor's hate? Nothing compares to you. So that, that's from oh, that has to be uh, you. Oh, you had all right, yeah, uh, Prince. <laughs> Prince. La last question for you now. In 1805. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're looking forward that. to this. <laughs> yeah, we're just hot from a table quiz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, we're we're fi in the zone. We finished joint, uh, joint, joint second last. last. <laughs> joint <laughs> second last. Don't say that. Don't say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can it be I? I'm going to ask the dog. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's telling the answer. Yeah, Swan. Swan. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> 
Which Irish writer wrote the novel Ulysses? James Joyce, James O'Brien, James Talbot. God, now James O'Brien rings as you're like, you have a little bell? Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love quizzes. No. This is great. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, well, we're the for the whole show. <laughs> yes, I'm going yes. to put you on the spot. I know. I Maybe can't get away with it. there are two statues in Dublin okay. to two liberators. Right. Oh. So who would the second liberator be? Pat. I'm, I'm the host of the show. <laughs> we yeah, compete against okay. each other because he's a doctor, that's not fair. He's a doctor. <laughs> the largest park in Dublin is... The Phoenix Park. This Phoenix Park. Got right. I got it. Go. Oh, hey. But I beat a doctor. Last but not least, the show that we come to with some beautiful music from some great talented musicians that we did feature on this season. Well, we want to say a big time thank you to all of you. Thank you to our audience in the studio. Thank you to our viewers at home. And thank you to everyone in the production team. Why do you still doubt the Lord? Has he not said it? Will he not do it? He just needs your faith. You can be seated. Here and say my dream. And it's a faith believing all powers can be seen. Doesn't seem like long ago I was playing in the park, kicking ball and meeting girls and staying out till dark. But ten years go so far, really blows me mind. And there's nothing you Turn back the hands of time. No, 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 my mommy told me to learn. My daddy told me to shine. My grandma told me never give up. Skim your stones across the river and see how far they go. Always let your feelings flow. Another uh, time you, you're forced to say yes, it's when you get your hair cut or your hair done and they come around with a mirror and show you at the back of your head and go, is that okay? Has anyone ever went, what the fuck have you done to the back of my hair? That is a disgrace. I'm glad you show me that now. Go back around and have another go at that. Yo, just like a road to the racer, purple with the taser. Obi-Wan can no be dark, Vader's lightsaber. I'ma get my pen and paper, writing lyrics while I savor. This beautiful encounter, then I preach it like a pastor, cause I know you never heard of me. Most underrated, but still kill it every day, you see. Music is my passion, ain't gonna stop until the death of me. Rhythm and the poetry, that's what rappers miss and watch me flow just like a melody. <laughs>